St. Patrick's Day. Welcome to Bourbon and a Baby. It is our final day of Irish Whiskey Week. If you are actually watching this the day it's posted, it is actually St. Patrick's Day today. So cheers to all of you there. Um, and today we are going to cover the range of the biggest name in all of Irish whiskeys, and that is Jameson's. So I've got quite the selection here. There's more that I could choose to go with uh, as well, but uh, I wanted to pick a couple. Uh, first, we have traditional Jameson's. We have Jameson's uh, Blender's Dog. This is uh, one of their newest expressions. Uh, we have Jameson Gold and Jameson Cold Brew. So uh, let's see what these are all about. All right, I'm going to cover these one at a time. I want to start first with just your plain old traditional Jameson. This is 40% uh, or 80 proof. Um, and again, this is, you know, pretty clearly, um, you know, most people are familiar with Jameson. Uh, one of the bigger names in all of whiskey, uh, let alone uh, just Irish whiskey. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get check the nose. I get um, a little bit of a um, ginger note on this, a, a hint of citrus, and uh, definitely some some malt. Uh, I, I can I can uh, smell the malt. All right, let's check the palate. Cheers. Uh, so not a lot to this really, um, went down really easy, um, not a ton of flavor, um, again it is 80, or 80 proof, uh, 40%, not that you would expect uh, a lot of flavor, um, but just your, a solid baseline entry whiskey, um, picking up a little bit of vanilla uh, as, I, as, as it finishes. Um, I definitely like this better than Bushmills. Um, I did not like the Bushmills at all. Um, and at a, at a similar price point, um, I would say this is really comparable um, to the Proper 12 that I had earlier this week as well. You can taste the malt a little bit as well. Uh, but yeah, largely vanilla, maybe a, maybe just a hint of citrus. Um, my personal preference when it comes to Jameson, uh, it's not something I'm going to drink neat or on the rocks. Uh, I want my Jameson and ginger ale. Uh, I feel like Jameson and ginger ale is the perfect combination, uh, and that's how I, I like to enjoy uh, my Jameson. Okay, next up I want to try the Jameson Blender's Dog. Get a little close up there. Uh, so this uh, said it's put together by a head blender, Billy Layton. Uh, spirit, wood and thyme, perfectly balanced. Um, and this is 86 proof, so 43%. Um, let's see. Celebrating the passion of our craftsmen, the Whiskey Maker series presents the Blender's Dog. I wanted to create harmony and complexity and infusion of creamy and spicy notes with butterscotch sweetness and a prickle of tannins. I named this whiskey after the dog, a tool I use to take samples straight from the cask. And that's from Billy. Uh, yeah, Billy Layton. So let's go ahead and try this out. A really light nose. Um, I'm having a hard time picking out distinct flavors uh, right off the nose. I can smell some of the wood. 
I can smell some of the malt and a little bit of vanilla. So let's go ahead and give this a taste. Cheers. Hmm. That's pretty good. I actually like this quite a bit. Um, I like that it's a little higher proof. Um, did it say if it was chill filtered? Non chill filtered, I like that. It does have like kind of a, an oiliness aspect to it. It is kind of creamy. Uh, I think this said butterscotch, but I'm not picking any of that uh, up. Let me try that, Try another uh, uh, taste. No butterscotch, but I do get that spiciness um, uh, and that kind of, um, those, some, uh, some light tannic notes from the wood as well. This is actually pretty enjoyable. This, um, I would say, uh, would be like a bourbon drinker's Irish whiskey. <laughs> so, uh, I, I, I like this. I like this a lot. This is one I would drink uh, neat or on the rocks. Um, and I'm sure it would go well in a ginger ale as well. But uh, <laughs> I, would, I could definitely see drinking this neat. Pretty good. We're going to move on to Jameson Gold Reserve. Now, I'm going to be honest, I know that this is expensive, but I don't really know anything about it. Uh, it says it's three wood matured, uh, featuring virgin oak. So one of the times that they, that they age this, they put in, in new oak. Um, but they don't say anything else about any of the other, at least not on the label. Uh, it's 40%, so 80 proof. Um, so yeah. If anybody out there knows more about Jameson Gold, please uh, enlighten me in the comments. Um, like I said, all I know is it's expensive. Uh, other than that, don't know anything. <laughs> vanilla, I get vanilla. I get some, um, some of that toasted oak. I, I can smell that and kind of like a light, um, light fruity, like fresh fruit. Um, like, like if you're walking through a farmer's market in, uh, in the summer and you can just kind of smell that fruit in the air, that's what I'm getting here. All right, let's check the, let's see how it tastes. Cheers. That is interesting. It's an interesting experience. Um, and I say experience because right as soon as I took a sip, it was like, uh, like just real soft, real light. Um, almost like it wasn't even uh, a whiskey at all. And then as it kind of hit the back of my tongue and as the finish came on, then I started to get those oaky notes. Uh, I'm guessing partially from that being partially aged in virgin oak. Kind of dried out my tongue a little bit, but yeah, it kind of hit me with some of the spiciness that that you you would normally get from uh, you know like a bourbon. Um, uh, just a, just the slightest little bit of vanilla, but I just really liked how it like it almost melts in your mouth, and then. The finish just like kind of comes back with with the the spiciness, um, and that's pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah, this is this is good. Um, Again, I know it's expensive, um, 
I'll have to put on the screen. I don't know off the top of my head uh, exactly how much a bottle of this is. I'll, I'll look it up and, and put it up here somewhere later. Um, I don't know um, if the experience is worth as expensive as it is, um, but it's good. But I'll be honest. And I'll have to put the price to this Blender's Dog as well. And I'm going to try these back to back here in a second. But I think I like the Blender's Dog a little bit better. You definitely get a different experience. With the Blender's Dog, you get more flavor up front. Um, and a shorter finish with the gold, you get that all that flavor comes up on the back end on a nice long finish. Um, I do like the proof point a little bit better on the Blender's Dog, but to be honest, that gold reserve is extremely, extremely smooth and easy to drink. Um, so yeah, hard to say which one I would pick over the other. I guess it depends on the day and, and what I'm looking for. But I, my gut would tell me that this is quite a bit cheaper than this. So I would probably steer closer to this than I would to this. Okay, lastly, I wanted to uh, try a little bit of the Jameson Cold Brew. This also is one of their newer products. Uh, I know a lot of people have been posting about this on social media and have been really excited about uh, the idea of it. Uh, and this will actually be the first flavored whiskey that I'll have tried on the channel. So kudos to you, Jameson Cold Brew. This is, it says it's a limited edition, so who knows uh, how available this will be and for how long. Um, but I, I imagine it's gonna be pretty popular, so I would think that they're gonna try to put out a ton of this. Um, let's see, what's the, so this is 30%, so 60 proof. Um, it says, Jameson Irish Whiskey infused with natural cold brew coffee flavor. Okay, so there's an uh, Arabica beans, or I don't, I don't know if I said that properly, uh, stamp on here. Um, but yeah, the best of both worlds bottle, Jameson Irish Whiskey infused with cold brew coffee flavor, made with roasted Arabica beans from Brazil and Colombia best enjoyed chilled over ice or in a cocktail. So I will say, I've experimented a little bit with this on the cocktail side. Um, I took, as a real simple, easy cocktail, I took about one and a quarter ounce of this with a, and mixed it with one ounce of Bailey's, stirred it on ice, and it was really good. It was like you know, coffee and cream. Really, really good. Um, I've also made a um, kind of like a a cold brew martini with this. Maybe I'll I'll do uh, in the future uh, on the channel. Uh, and that tasted like coffee flavored ice cream. It was amazing. <laughs> um, so we'll see. Maybe maybe one of these days I'll put that video. I'll make that into a video. But all right, let's 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 see what we get on this. I mean, it smells just like coffee. You know, I don't, I don't even smell the whiskey really, just, just mostly coffee. Maybe just a hint of the whiskey. All right, cheers. Yeah, it's like tasting a, a, a spiked cold brew coffee. Um, it's, it's really, if you like coffee, especially cold brew coffee, you're not gonna not like this. Um, you don't taste the whiskey too much. Uh, you can taste it in there a little bit, but the dominant flavor is definitely the cold brew. So yeah, if you're a cold brew fan and a whiskey fan, you'll like this. Um, 
I don't know that this is something I would just sit back and drink on the rocks. Uh, like I said, this and Bailey's was really good. Uh, some other type of cocktail, uh, I think this would be good in as well. Uh, me personally, probably won't drink it uh, on the rocks, but you definitely could, and it, it is it is really good. Um, they did a they did a fantastic job. Hopefully, like I said, it'll be so popular and they'll want to put it out there and make more and more of it. So hopefully it'll be available uh, and, and easy to get because it is it is pretty tasty. All right, and to wrap this Jameson episode up, um, to be honest, if I would pick a winner out of all these, I'd probably pick the Blender's Dog. I think this was just really good. Um, obviously the gold was really good too. Um, Jameson, just good for being what it is. Uh, an entry level Irish whiskey, can't go wrong. Throw in some ginger ale, perfect. And yeah, great job with the, uh, the cold brew too. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, you can follow Max and myself on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We're at Bourbon and a Baby on all those platforms. And last but not least, you can find our um, merchandise at our shop on Spreadshirt. I'll throw the link in the description below. Cheers. I like that, that's good.